Welcome back. Now, Zakia Swamiti is a young man out to change the face of Kenyan football. He is not a coach or an administrator, but the young man is behind the locally made substitution boards that have been embraced by Premier League teams Gormahia and Moranga Seal, as well as the Kenya Academy of Sports. Here's Michael Kinney with that story. It all started from an incident at a Kenyan Premier League match between top teams Tusk FC and Sofapaka FC. And uh, Mike, what I saw, I think I felt a little bit embarrassing because they were using uh, plain paper sheets to do the substitution board. Having uh, done electrical, electrical electronics engineering at uh, diploma level, I thought uh, I can play with uh, LEDs and ICs to make a substitution board, an electronic one. Wamiti approached a friend from school and together they developed the idea and gathered the necessary components to build the first substitution board. Uh, it was uh, back in 2019. I've tried to make it reach to the sports fraternities, but I think uh, now I think I'm, I'm very proud of what I've made, an electronic substitution board, which is currently being used by CAS, Kenya Academy of Sports. Most of the boards used in Kenya are plastic boards, which take time to arrange the numbers needed for the substitutions. They are not quick enough, especially when a substitution is required urgently. But the, my substitution board is very just, uh, it's, uh, it has a very simple key parts. You just key in uh, the number that you want to do the substitute and just it appear on the screen. Wamiti says it takes a day to make one and it works with a team of four people. It is quick to make because it is not complicated and the components are readily available. Okay, first and foremost, maybe there is a switch, the power switch, AC switch. We have a keypad where you are keying uh, the numbers. We have the LEDs that uh, emit light, the light emitting doubts, and of course the ACs, and of course the, 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 the motherboard, the, the outer part of it. His breakthrough came at the Talanta Hela Cup playoffs in Nyeri, where he supplied four substitution boards. He says it's not easy to market his products to sports teams and federations, but he got lucky at an event he attended. I was doing a, an exhibition at Nairobi University. They uh, have been called by the county government of Kiambu through Mr. Derito. And uh, when uh, the CS came and saw what uh, I had, he was very much interested uh, uh, with it. He first made three substitution boards to the Kenya Academy of Sports, then four more boards were ordered for the competitions. The material costs are 30000 for one board. The board currently in use is different from the original one made. The first board that I made was a, a, a single-sided board. And uh, the CEO, Cass, gave, gave me a lot of pressure. And uh, he told me that... Uh, for a single-sided, it's not suitable, so she wanted a double-sided. And I had to go back to the drawing board, and I made a double-sided substitution board. So far, I haven't had any complaint from the one that I've made, so maybe I think uh, it's working to perfect. Wamiti would like the boards to be used at a higher level, and he's in talks with the Football Kenya Federation to achieve that goal. His other target is the various national stadiums in the country, but so far the management of those facilities have not been responsive. Michael Kinyi for Citizen TV.